We're here at the New, Muse New Mexico Museum of Art in Santa Fe, New Mexico, USA, with Tim Rogers, the chief curator of the museum, and Joseph Traugott, the curator of 20th century art. Um, yeah, maybe start with Tim. Uh, Tim, there's a lot of things going on in uh, Santa Fe uh, yeah, these days. Yeah, definitely. We're having a very busy summer. Our summers are normally busy here, but I think that with so many new institutions and new shows opening, we are unusually busy. The art fair is this weekend, and that has become extremely popular. The folk art market is a worldwide phenomenon and extremely popular, and then the site biennial let alone all of our openings here at the museum. Mm. Yeah, maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, the museum here. Um, as you said, there are a lot of museums here in Santa Fe. And uh, what is the mission of the museum, uh, the New Mexico Museum? Mm -hmm. Well, we're the oldest museum here in the state. We are a state institution that is meant to promote the art of New Mexico by placing it into various contexts, particularly international contexts. So we show international art as well as New Mexico art. Um, Joe, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about the history of the museum? Well, the history of New Mexico art goes back um, 12,000 years, and so there is an unbroken history of New Mexico art. We concentrate on the period from uh, 1880, when the first railroads came to New Mexico, and New Mexico uh, became uh, connected uh, in a real way with the United States. Um, the art of uh, the museum is one that focuses um, on uh, the fusions that have taken place between uh, Native American, Hispanic, and European American artists. So rather than thinking of the art of New Mexico as um, a bunch of little groups that happen to be working here, um, the art is really a fusion, uh, an interaction that has taken place over uh, uh, many decades and many centuries. So you have a permanent collection here, but you also have a current exhibitions. We show both uh, works from our uh, permanent collection and we show uh, temporary exhibitions. The permanent collection uh, concentrates mostly on um, European American artists, but we have a strong representation of more recent works by Native American and Hispanic artists. The permanent collection uh, exhibition, uh, which is a long-term uh, installation, is called How the West uh, Is One. It's a bad pun off of the movie How the West Was One. In this case, one, O-N-E, is that unity of art and uh, culture that has taken place here over many centuries. Mm. Then there are uh, several other exhibitions. Um, you curated Tough Stuff, mm -hmm. uh, an exhibition, yeah, maybe you can tell us a exactly. little bit about that. There's a small exhibition that we just opened called Tough Stuff, and it's for New Mexico artists, and all of them, I think, are aggressive with their materials. In other words, we have one artist who does drawings on paper and then rather compulsively erases the lines that he makes until he rips the paper and mars the paper in various ways. There's another artist who works with wood, um, but works with chisels and chainsaws in order to create these very um, expressionistic uh, sculptures. A painter who works with paint by putting it on, as she said, like a bricklayer. And so it's kind of up and down, back and forth, and it's not a graceful manner of painting. And she puts so much paint on there until it finally turns into a textured surface. And then finally we have another artist that works with rubber, uh, rubber membrane material that you put on your roof. And he stitches it, sews it, and then stuffs it. And it kind of deflates um, during the time it's exhibited. So a rather unusual show. It's meant to serve as a contrast to the glass show that we have in our new wing, which is our large contemporary glass show that we have up for the summer. You also have work by Site Santa Fe, the biennial um, artists uh, who display work here. Correct. Uh, that's in our St. Francis Auditorium. 
clearly there's a fusion of, of activity that takes place here in Santa Fe uh, on a contemporary basis. Um, summer, this is high season for us. There are a lot of tourists in town. Um, but Santa Fe is the home of uh, many important national and international artists. And so there's, there's always a lot of uh, aesthetic activity happening um, here in New Mexico. So there are people coming from all over the world, not only uh, United States? Always, always. Um, it's interesting when you have um, a comment book out and you see people from Europe, from Africa, from Latin America, from Asia. It's, it's quite astounding to see how many um, uh, non-Americans are, are coming to uh, Santa Fe uh, as, a, as a cultural destination that uh, has been such for uh, uh, centuries. Well... I think that if you haven't been to New Mexico and you haven't been to Santa Fe, it really is a unique place in the United States. And I think that I know how Europeans generally love the West, mainly because we have so much sunshine and they've seen a lot of Western movies. But Santa Fe has a really deep culture, one, as Joe said, that goes back 12,000 or more years. And in the United States, it is very unusual. And so that's why we get so many tourists here, and we hope. All of your visitors would come over and visit us. And I think so much of uh, the archaeological history of uh, New Mexico, which is uh, truly accessible from Santa Fe, um, these are things that you um, generally don't see in the United States. So um, New Mexico is really um, sort of on one hand a world of its own and at the same time uh, clearly connected to uh, national and international movements. Uh, that uniqueness um, is, uh, is special. Yeah, thank you very much, Tim, thank Joe. You. For thank the you so much. Yeah.